Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, got a box in the mail today from the US Mint. Um, I believe that this should be the Pride of Two Nations uh, set. Um, it, I'm sure most of you have seen this, heard of it. Um, this is a set with two one ounce silver coins, one from the US Mint, one from the Canadian Mint. Um, and they both have special finishes on them. The premiums are pretty high. Um, it's pretty cool that they're doing a collaboration like this. Um, I think that they also did something with the uh, Perth Mint in Australia. Um, but the only reason that I thought that I would be okay paying the premiums for this and picking it up, not something I normally would do, but I think this will hold its value. Um, you see people already trying to sell it at a, a premium um, beyond uh, what the original um, sale price was. Um, don't be fooled. It's not actually out of stock. They haven't sold all of them. What they, If you go to the website, what it will say is this product is currently unavailable. And all that really means is that they are kind of like making them as they go to make sure they're not making more of these sets than they need. Um, it's limited to 100,000, and so we don't really know how many they've sold yet. Um, but without talking too much more, let's take a look at these coins here. They are in capsules, so... Look at the Canadian coin first. So we have a, a maple leaf in the middle and, and small maple leaves around um, the side and actually stars also. Of course, Queen Elizabeth. Read it edge. So um, I was going to look here real quick uh, what they say the um, finish on this is. The uh, Canadian coin is called a modified proof finish. Coin looks good. Let's see if I can pop the other one out of here. The uh, U.S. Um, one ounce American Silver Eagle. It's it's called an enhanced reverse proof. So they're getting pretty fancy with this. They did. Uh, Enhanced uncirculated, they did reverse proof, and now they're doing enhanced reverse proof. Um, and so you see the, the fields are frosted, um, the elements are mirrored, but there's like different levels of mirroring on the elements on the coin. So if you look at like the shield um, in front of the eagle here, some of it is very mirrored and some of it is less mirrored. I actually need less lighting here so you can see that better. Or on the obverse of the coin, you see that um, the, the dress where it's the stripes of the flag, um, I mean, it essentially is a flag that she's wearing. You see some of the, the stripes are the mirrored and some of them are, are kind of a matte. Um, and like the sun is very reflective. Again, just a reeded edge. Um, this one is minted at West Point. I believe the Canadian one is, I don't want to say this wrong, but I think it's Ottawa is where they mint their coins. Tighten there. So, like I said, you know, a really high premium for just two ounces of silver. Um, but where it's limited to 100000 I think this set will do well. I think it will hold its value. I certainly hope it does. Um, I almost think it would have been a good... Um, purchase for me to have bought five right off the bat and then um, sold the other four like a lot of people seem to be doing. Um, I believe like Appmex in the beginning offered to buy them for like $20 over what the original sale price was. 
but don't go out and buy these off eBay or from somebody third party yet. Um, you can still get them from the U.S. Mint for the $140. Um, if you buy uh, other sets regularly, you, you'll even get free shipping like I do. Um, and you can just you know do the reminder on there, so they'll send you an email when it comes back in stock. It took me three times. I didn't buy it the first day, um, and then I set that reminder. And it was the third time that they sent me the reminder that I was actually had the chance I was at my computer and I bought it quick enough to where I got it. Um, the first time I told my wife, all right, I'm going to buy it because it's it's available again. And by the time I sat down at the computer to do it, it was out again. So you got to be quick, um, but you can still get it at the um, issue price. Um, and I, 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 again, I expect it to go up in value. Um, but, you know, we have seen in the past a lot of sets that have gone down. Um, for example, the Prestige Proof sets that they did for a long period of time. Even now, they're not even close to what they originally sold for. Um, and there's other sets that, that do better. Um, you know, hopefully this will at least keep its value where, where it's at and not go down. Um, but some beautiful coins. Um, really cool finishes on them, um, kind of unique, uh, limited to 100,000. Uh, if you don't have this yet, um, might be something worthwhile getting. Um, another thing just, just purchased and is in the mail now also is the uh, $1 Native American $1 uh, coin and currency set for 2019. That's limited to, I believe, 50,000, and that uh, $1 coin is a different finish. I think it's um, if I remember correctly, it's the Enhanced Uncirculated, and that set's the only set you can get that finish for that coin in. So um, it's only $16, I think. Um, from the last uh, few of them they've made of those, that typically doesn't seem to really go up in value, um, but it may. Um, some period from now, if people do uh, become more interested in the Native American $1 coins, um, but the thing here is the uh, American Silver Eagle is a very collectible coin. There's a lot of people that collect it and a lot of people that are buying the set just because they want to have a complete set of the American Silver Eagles. Um, similar to a lot of people collect the Jefferson, sorry, not the Jefferson, the Kennedy half dollar. And they made that set the beginning of this year with the Kennedy half dollar and the Apollo 11 half dollar. And that set is doing very well right now. Um, I expect this set to kind of follow the trend of that one because, because of the uh, collectability of the American Silver Eagle in this set. Um, and, and then at the same time, you're probably going to be getting some Canadians who are also looking to buy this set um, because they collect their, the Canadian one-ounce silver coins. And so you, you're, you're trying to pull out two markets. Um, and there'll be some overlap there, um, and to an extent, there's going to be a lot of people that buy the set just for this one, um, so you'll probably see a lot of the Canadian coin on secondhand market. If you only want this Canadian coin, you don't care about the packaging or anything, I would wait a while, wait for the people to who just want this coin to buy it out, and they're going to be selling these at a much lower cost. It's not going to cost you half the price of this set to get just the Canadian coin. Um, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at these two coins and hearing a little bit about uh, my thoughts on um, the um, design of these coins and also on kind of the uh, value of buying a set like this. But have an excellent day. Hope you're all doing well and hope to see you all next time.